Hey guys and welcome back to this video on the introduction to Scratch. So in this model, we're going to talk about something that is very important for game design and that is how to use your keyboard to control some of your characters. So we call it keyboard control. So if I come under event, you can see this when space key is pressed. But um, if I click on this arrow, you can see that I have all the keys, well almost all the keys on my keyboard. So let's see, yeah. I can go all the way from space, up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, and left arrow. Now, a lot of times you're going to use the arrow keys. So up arrow, down arrow, right arrow, left arrow. So let's say when the up arrow key is pressed, then we want the scratch card to go up, right? So that means we're going to change. Remember, if you want to go up or down, that's your Y. So let's say we change the Y. Let's say change Y by 10. Or let's increase it say 30 right so now when I press the up arrow key as you can see why the cut is going up now if I do the same thing for the down arrow key so when the down arrow key is pressed change y by minus 30 And then I press the down arrow key. Yeah. Yeah. So now we have some sort of control. But if you notice, it's not as fluid. Yes. It just like jumps to that particular position. So one thing we could do is to make it go gradually. Right. We can use like a repeat block. So if I use a repeat block, say put this to five and put this to say six. So six times five is still 30. So if I do this now watch what happens so I'm going to move the cut down and then I'm going to press the up arrow key can you see it looks like it's gliding up right it's gliding up right now let's do the same thing for down six minus five so down and then up yes but there's one way to do it like uh, but it's not so fluid like as you notice it stops every time it's going up or down i'm going to show you another method so i'm going to delete this and delete this this time we're going to introduce another block and it's the if then block now if it's raining you take an umbrella right so that's what the if then block is it's a conditional block if something then something else you can also have if then else block right so if this is true do the block that you have in this place else to the block that you have in this place we're not going to use this one we're just going to stick to this one so if you come under sensing you're going to see something like a particular key is pressed notice that this shape is similar to this shape so we can put it inside yeah that's really cool right so if the up arrow key is pressed for example then we can have that same thing that we had so repeat six times and then change y by 5. But what do you think we're going to put at the top of this? So we'll go to event and we'll say when clicked. So we want it to always happen when the program is running, right? But if we just do this, it's only going to happen once, right? In fact, it has to happen really quickly. If not, we wouldn't see anything. So this has to be in a forever block. So that means every time the program is running forever, if the key up arrow key is pressed, then change Y by five. So let's see it work now. Do you see that? Do you see that? Okay. So I'm going to copy this. So right click and duplicate and do the same thing for the down arrow key. Changes to minus five. So let's see it now. So can you see it's smoother? Yeah. Unlike the other time when it was pausing up, up and down, up and down. Now you can do the same thing for left and right. So let's stop this duplicate. If the right arrow key is pressed. Now remember, if we're going left to right, that means it's the X axis. So I'm going to change X by five. And then if the left arrow key is pressed, I'm going to change X by minus five. All right, so let's see this now. 
So down, up, left, right. Now you can also mix this with your next costume kind of thing. So for example, if we are going right, so let's go on our looks. We say next costume. So every time we change X by five or something, we change the costume. So let's go, let's press this. Let's go back first. And then if I press the right, can you see it looks like it's working? Yes, good. So that's how you use your keyboard to control your characters. And now in the next model or from the next model, we're going to start building our wonderful game, which is a rocky space, a spaceship trying to avoid rocks in space. And we're going to use everything that we have learned for this final project.